Everywhere plastics are found, they are known to cause problems. Uh, be it in our water, um, they kill the fish, they kill the sea animals who feed on uh, plastics, uh, think that it's food. When it's on land, they choke our animals and they choke our soil. Plastics are destroying our communities, they're destroying livelihoods, and that's why it's time for all of us to come together to solve this big problem. At the United Nations Environment Assembly, or UNIA, the fifth assembly we will have, we will have governments, youth groups, civil society and business deliberate on how to put us back on track to live in harmony with nature. Now, this is the highest decision-making authority on the environment in the world. And this time, at the fifth meeting of this body, we will have decisions and discussion on important areas, including on progress on limiting and halting plastic pollution. So we've been in the process to, in the negotiations, or rather the process to adopt a legally binding instrument for plastic uh, since UNEA 2, uh, which was held in Nairobi, I think 2018 or 16 thereabout. And it's been a, a big fight to uh, obtain a legally binding instrument mandate from UNEA until this year when UNEA adopted this resolution. If some of you participated in UNEA 3, if you recall, uh, this was uh, part of the discussions, uh, uh, one of the resolution on plastic. And at that meeting, we had a big uh, different opposing views, particularly from the plastic industry and other major economies that are uh, have petrochemical interests uh, would never we were interested in a legally binding instrument uh, on this problem. Uh, we know plastic uh, is produced 99% from fossil fuels, from uh, actually oil and gas mainly. So there is the direct link to global emissions and the climate crisis. Um, we, when we talk about ecological um, crisis, um, the drought in Kenya, the acute crisis that um, uh, people in the region and especially also in Kenya um, are facing, the food crisis, etc. It is linked to the global climate crisis, which again is linked through fossil fuels to our topic that we talk about. There is only one way that we are able to solve this um, global challenges, climate crisis, plastic crisis, by international cooperation. And history has taught us that every time uh, we have had countries come together uh, to solve crises, it has succeeded. Uh, with the Montreal Protocol, for example, that countries came together um, and they signed up a protocol that was going to help solve the problem of ozone layer depletion. So. Um, that's why we are calling also countries to come together again this time round to solve the problem that we have in plastic pollution. So the, the mandate that was provided by the UNEA uh, gave an ambitious timeline that by 2024 uh, a treaty is in place uh, or negotiated. And uh, the journey started uh, because the resolution uh, prescribed that an ad hoc open-ended working group uh, be, meet in the first half of the year to develop or prepare a timetable for this negotiation process, as well as uh, look at how it can structure uh, the work of the INC, what we call the INC, the Intergovernmental Negotiating Committee. So this uh, meeting was held last week and it deliberated on the timeline uh, for this uh, negotiation process. So the resolution from the UNEA also mandated that the first INC uh, need to be held in the first or the second half of the year. So this was discussed in the meeting in Dakar, uh, which was the open and working group uh, where we just participated. And uh, uh, just to give you the next steps, uh, there are five agreed 
INCs are to be held. This is uh, the first INC will be held end of November uh, to discuss uh, the mandate from paragraph three and four, which was in the UNEA resolution. So the INC will uh, develop its program of work. Uh, already there's a recommendation from the open-ended working group. And in this period, uh, from the mandate of the resolution, which is in paragraph three and four, if I'm not wrong, prescribes what the INC process need to address. So it includes one, uh, issues of life cycle of plastic, uh, looking at product design, looking at environmental sound management, resource efficiency, circular economy, issues of financial means uh, and technical resources that developing countries need, among others that the INC will discuss. So just to answer your question, the journey will start with the first INC in November, and there will be other meetings of the INC, I think twice in a year until 2024.